Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you guys so much for tuning back into our Town of 10 Let's Play. And guys, Jasper is roaring. He has got a open laboratory. Guys, I sat down and I waited on these Valkyries every single day. Sat there staring at them like, please just finish already. And now that they're done, we need to start something else. I did a big epic three hour boost session on stream and we farmed up about 120,000 dark legs are in that um, three hour session. So we did a really, really good job of farming. And right now I'm sitting on 183,000 dark elixir. Now I've got some big plans for that dark elixir today. And of course we need to just, you know, make sure we get some buildings upgraded and stuff like that. Also, we're obviously continuing to push with these heroes, trying to get these level 35 hero, level 35 queen or level 33 king, whatever. We, we have a lot of options is what I'm trying to say. So let's go, let's smack base as usual. And our big goal for today is 190,000 Dark Elixir, okay? I'm sitting currently on 183,000, and we need 190, so that means we need, what, 7,000, roughly? That's a lot of Dark Elixir, all right? So let's just see what we can find. I mean, we found this base. I love this base. This base is so conscientious of the environment. Look at this. They built around the trees. That is so sweet of them. That is so wonderful, but that also creates some very big weaknesses in the base. Although you might go green, that does not mean you are better. In this case, this person's definitely not. So let's smack this base, guys. All the Dark Elixir sitting on this right and bottom side of the base should be super easy to take out with our Lunium. And uh, what do I have on my CC? Oh, I've got, I've got Max Balloons my CC. Oh, baby, a triple. It's going to be a triple. All right, let's go. Balloons. Let's go, Balloons. Let's go, Minions. Let's go. Haze Taste. Oh, we need to Poison the Queen. There we go. And then we'll just keep the haste rolling, guys. I actually, I really do appreciate these bases with the, uh, with the, what are they called? With the, like the, the obstacles and stuff in the middle of everything. I think it's really cool. Like, what do you do? Like, how do you even do that? Like, do you have to, do you set up a base where all of your buildings are on the outside ring or, or what? Like, I just don't get it. I think it's, I think it's impressive, but I just don't understand. I don't understand how it's a thing. So, guys, it looks like we're going to three-star this base. Oh, baby, a triple, right? Oh, baby, a triple. So, I think we're down to just a couple of balloons left. They're smacking into that haste. They're going to take out... Oh, we got one more. We got one more. We got a sweeper. All right. Oh, and giant bomb. That was really sad. I really wanted to see those wall breakers damage a little bit of the sweeper. But there we go. The sweeper goes down. Balloon's going to take out that cannon. And that's going to be the three-star against... I can't say the name of that. Simante, Samantha Official. Samantha Official. I'm sorry, Samantha Official, that I had to three-star your base. But the loot was good. The Dark Elixir is fantastic. And um, we are now at 188,000 Dark Elixir. That's that's great, guys. With that loot bonus, too, we're only going to need about 1,000 more to actually upgrade the stuff that I want to upgrade today, which is really, really great. So let's just go ahead and grab this three-star. Good job, guys. Well done. Look at all those minions. Oh, I love the minions. There we go. 4,700 plus 560 Dark Elixir. That's like 5,200 Dark Elixir is beautiful. And great amounts of gold, and the Elixir was decent as well. So, not too not too shabby, guys. And a star bonus, but that reminds me, actually. Do I have anything in my treasury? Just the star bonus. Let's go ahead and collect that so that we have a good idea. So, we've already got the 190,000 that we wanted. So, that is awesome. I also cannot request for a CC because I don't have the time for it. But look at the previous attack. Like, the previous attack, amazing loot once again. 4,200 Dark Elixir. And this was one of those super, super easy ones where it's like all the Dark Elixir is in one little spot and I barely need to use any spells. I mean, there's occasion... For using all of your spells but for the most part i try to avoid using all my spells if i can because typically speaking my spells take longer to cook than my troops so if i save any spells it makes the next attack come a little bit quicker but in this case it looks like looks like i went all in looks like i, I went all in on this base guys and we're going to clear up and possibly yep take out even that dark elixir storage balloons are still doing a great job and then these minions down here will snag that town hall. So it's going to be a 100% dark looks grab. Super simple, super easy. And look at all this elixir, guys. What, what are these wall breakers doing? What are you guys doing? 
Why are you doing the thing that you're doing? I bet you we get a lot of elixir out of that one little explosion of, of uh, wall breaker. So yeah, the minions got the dark elixir at the bottom and the and the gold. And now it looks like the heroes are going to be used to take out the elixir. I'd forgotten about this moment until just now. Pretty awesome. Lots of elixir down there. And the queen and the king got all of it. I mean, that was pretty dang awesome. And I want to close up before my queen takes a lot of damage. So I normally close out about now. Yep, replay counts down to zero. And there is... It's not a three star, but it is 100% loot bonus at 70% total damage. Uh, so that would be over 500, maybe even up to 600,000 gold. Probably not 600,000 elixir. Pr pretty close, though. I don't know the numbers exactly. And then with the loot bonus, that is over 47, maybe 4,800 dark elixir. And it's it was super easy. Super easy, guys. Crystal League Farming is where it is at. So, guys, I got one more army. Let's go out and let's wreck. And did I just see... Hold on. Did I just see... Oh, I did. Oh, you punk. Oh, you punk. You sixth anniversary punk. <laughs> I've been having this happen lately to me. I mean, I'm not setting up uh, a spawn base. So it the, the, the chances, the odds of the special obstacle spawning in the middle of my base is there. But it's been happening to me a lot lately. So we're going to go ahead and remove this cake. It will give us 50,000 elixir profit. And then I'll go find us a base while that is happening. So, oh, wow. Dead Town Hall 10. Oh my goodness, guys. The loot today. The loot today. Super quick, super easy. Wow. And both sweepers are pointing up too. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right, guys. Let's go. Let's get some loonian up in here. No CC this time, so it will be a bit more difficult to find the loot that we want. But it won't be impossible. So let's just see. Where are these balloons going to want to go after this? We, got, we do have a mortar over there. We have a mortar over here. Um, just trying to keep things moving. I've got two more haste spells. I definitely don't want to uh, waste them. Let's get a poison on this queen. And let's also haste in the core. Let's just make sure that any balloons that go into the core can get out of it just as easily as they came in. So there we go. All the dark elixir is now going to be ours, guys. There's too many balloons left and not enough defenses. So that is awesome. Minions are doing a great job cleaning up. And we can probably use our heroes to snag a whole bunch of loot. We might even three-star, but I doubt it. I think these defenses on the backside are a bit too strong for my balloons. So won't be a three-star unless we just try to do it with our, with our heroes. That's definitely a possibility. Let's get our king and our queen on this side and start with these defenses. And if we happen to three-star... We have it a three star. Um, I'm gonna wait until the wizard tower and the arch tower are both busy on the king, and then let's drop our wall breakers, and that's gonna let our king and our queen get in in case that stuff is not messed with. The king is doing a great job distracting. Queen is gonna do the big work, getting that stuff in the middle, and then the king of king's just gonna keep walking, dude. I mean, she's, he's just gonna keep doing his deed. His, his deed. Uh, queen's gonna get down here, get these storages. So king will end up distracting. The Archer Tower, the Wizard Tower, and the Cannon, or at least hopefully. Nope, actually the Archer Tower wants the Queen. fan flippin' -tastic. Let's get this King up here quickly. Quickly now. There we go. And oh, and now the Cannon is busy. Poop. Alright, well let's pop the Queen's ability. Now the Cannon is busy on the King, or the little baby Archers, whatever. And it looks like with our heroes, it's going to be a 3-star, guys. Just dead tunnel 10. It's super easy, but with just Lunian Span. Oh, it's beautiful, guys. It is just beautiful. So 47, 4,800 Dark Elixir once again, plus over 600,000 gold and 550,000 Elixir. Beautiful stuff, guys. Just absolutely beautiful stuff. So again, guys, we did a huge boost to basically all Lunium, just wrecking bases, grabbing loot, and now I'm sitting on 195,000 Dark Elixir with the help of the few attacks during this video. So now we need to upgrade some stuff. Um, I would say that with our Elixir, we ought to just go ahead and prioritize this Dark Elixir Drill. It is level 2 now. It needs to go to level 3. So I don't know if I did that during the video or between episodes, but there you go. Now you know. So let's go ahead and upgrade this, guys. Going to level 3, which is, I believe... I believe that's Town Hall 8 max level. I'm not entirely sure. So let's go ahead and do this, guys, in 3, 2, 1. Bam. There we go. And of course, it's not going to be max. Max for Dark Elixir Drills is level 6. So go ahead and leave that baby right there. Next step, guys, is we have a builder available that we should use... Well, you know what? Yeah, let's save the Dark Elixir for the finale. And let's see, when's the next builder coming available? One hour. All right, we've got one hour. Nice. All right, so let's spend all of our gold on walls. 
and save two million for the spring trap. We're gonna go and upgrade the spring trap, guys. I'm gonna do my traps next and then start focusing on like the Zarcha Tower needs to go to level 11, but it's 3.5 million, e, uh, 3.5 million gold. We have this X build that needs to go to level two. All these are new defenses, by the way. Um, uh, this one's four million gold. So I'm pretty much doing all the traps because they're significantly cheaper upgrades and they make your base way beasty. So I'm um, gonna do this spring trap next. That means that I'm gonna have an extra. Um, I'm gonna, I have an extra 6 million gold. So let's go ahead and pour 6 million gold into three walls. Let's do this, guys. In three to one, bam. Nice. All right, and then what about Elixir, guys? What about Elixir? Can I spend Elixir on anything? Notice there's no Elixir suggestions. So that means that all the buildings that are Elixir are done, except for this drill, of course, but it's already upgrading, so it won't suggest that. And then anything in our laboratory. So I guess now we're kind of left up with a... Oh, well, I actually don't have enough Elixir for the minor upgrade. I was gonna think about doing the minor upgrade, but I don't have enough elixir for it, which is kind of sad. I guess that happened because I upgraded the drill. Okay, well, the decision's been made for me then. <laughs> I was thinking about doing a dark uh, a dark troop and then starting the miners, but I guess I can't do that now, so we'll do something else. So I guess we'll spend our extra elixir on walls. Let's go, guys. Two million elixir, four million, two walls, and three, two, one, bam. Nice. All right, and then one last, uh, one last thing, guys. Yes, let's go ahead and upgrade the spring trap in three, two, one, bam. And it is going to max, so we'll go ahead and move this baby over. And then let's start some stuff in the laboratory. Last episode, I asked you guys what, should I, what I should upgrade. I did say I was leaning towards the bowlers, and everyone else said the bowlers. So I don't know if that was coincidence, or if great minds just think alike, or if you guys were influenced by my uh, my positive comment about the bowlers. Either way, the bowlers are definitely our next big priority. Eight and a half day upgrade. I hate these half upgrades, the half day upgrades, because it's like after midnight for me. So... It could be better, but it's all good. 120,000 Dark Elixir, guys, in three, two, one, bam. Now, guys, this is the part that I never mentioned in the video, because I forgot, is that I've got a book of fighting from the last clan games, and so we're gonna actually use this. We're gonna have max down to 10 bowlers, which is good. I'm a part of a level 10 clan, or 12. It's technically level 12, but it has a plus two level perk bonus. So that means that because level four is max for bowlers, that means that I needed to level up my bowlers to level two in order to donate max bowlers to my clan mates. So very excited about this, guys. Getting these bowlers done immediately, and then we get to make a decision on what we're gonna upgrade next. So let's do this, guys, in three, two, one, bam. Very nice. All right, so the only Dark Elixir choices that I have that I can actually afford is either the Poison Spell or the Skeleton Spell or the Hound. Now, I have been suggested to me that I should go ahead and upgrade the Hounds. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and listen to that suggestion, guys. The um, the Air meta, just Lalo, Lava Hound and Balloon, Minion throw it in behind. That's a very powerful strategy at pretty much every Town Hall level that has access to those troops. So I think it'd be a good idea to upgrade them now and get good with them. So let's go ahead and upgrade this Hound, guys. Level three, 70,000 Dark Elixir. I've got 75,000. I did the math right. That's awesome. Eight day upgrade in three, two, one, bam. There you go. That was a lot of Dark Elixir, guys. That was 190,000 Dark Elixir spent. I've got 5,000 left over for, for you know, whatever. And um, this is a good day, guys. So, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Lots of good things happened today, by the way. Again, lots of walls. We upgraded this Dark Elixir drill. Really trying to focus down and getting this drill maxed out and then getting the traps done. And then last but certainly not least, the laboratory. And now I have eight days to accumulate Dark Elixir to hopefully upgrade a hero Obviously, I want to get this queen to level 35 for the new queen's iron or iron cloak, royal cloak ability, or maybe even the king going to level 33. It all depends on the loot and if it's available to me or not. So, guys, that's it for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. The video, like this video if you did, in fact, liked it. And hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And to join the class family because it's just the best family that there is. It just is. So, guys, I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.